In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the Ecamm Live virtual camera for Discord so that you can bring in all of your Ecamm goodness into your Discord servers or indeed any that you happen to be a member of. So let's jump straight on into it, shall we? And this is uh, obviously, first of all, a uh, feature of Ecamm Live with the virtual camera and uh, virtual mic. So what I'll do is I'll just come into my live demo mode, uh, obviously making sure that you do have this switched on. Uh, this is, by the way, a feature of the pro level of Ecamm Live. Uh, so uh, well, just have to mention that uh, but just make sure you've got your virtual camera on uh, and also the virtual mic if you want all of your audio to feed into discord as well assuming though that you have done that um, then with things like zoom and uh, microsoft teams and things like that it is simply then a, set, a case of just selecting those as your input however for discord there is one extra little step that we have to do and that is we need to add a little bit of code into the terminal don't switch off, <laughs> don't be afraid. Uh, the, if you are not someone who uses the terminal, uh, it's really quite a simple thing that we're gonna do here and uh, there's nothing to uh, nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> uh, first of all, I should say, what is the terminal? Well, uh, in the good old days <laughs> where uh, things were overly complicated and you did everything by text, they had the terminal, which is basically where you could type in different text commands to do all sorts of different things. And that was in essence, until the graphical user interface came around, that was the way to actually navigate around computers and do things with them so uh, this isn't going to be a terminal channel <laughs> uh, but uh, let me just show you uh, what the terminal looks like and the way you can find this by the way is just do a spotlight search uh, for terminal or you can look in your apps and you'll find terminal.app so do a search for that uh, this is the terminal and uh, it looks something like this pretty uh, pretty boring looking <laughs> just a box for you to write some uh, some text in and what we need to do is we need to enter a particular code snippet in here um, uh, that is basically then going to enable the, the camera for Discord. It's a bit of a workaround. We used to have to do this in Teams, actually, until Microsoft finally updated Teams so that it was no longer required. Presumably, at some point, Discord will be doing something similar. Uh, now, the code snippet that we need to enter, if you get your pen and paper ready, is this one. Did you get it? <laughs> I'll leave it down in the description as well, but uh, that is what it looks like. So it is quite a long thing. You're just really gonna want to uh, copy and paste this rather than try and uh, <laughs> write it down or anything like that. But what we wanna do is we wanna paste that into the terminal. So uh, back over in the terminal, you would just literally paste that in here and just like that. And then you would uh, hit the return key and then it's gonna say, please enter your password. So we're trying to do something at the system level here. So it's gonna ask for your, um, this is your Mac password. So your you know login password, uh, or I should say administrator login password. Uh, so you need to enter that. And then once you uh, have done that, uh, then you'll be good to go. Now I say that, if you've got Discord open, you may need to restart Discord. You may even need to reboot your computer. Uh, your mileage may vary, but certainly uh, having Discord shut when you do this and then reopen Discord uh, afterwards is the, uh, is the way to go here. Uh, once you have done that though, uh, then you can go into your Discord. Uh, and when I say your Discord, you may very well happen to be <laughs> in my discord with a bit of luck so if you aren't already on my uh, in my discord in my community on discord then you can head over to take one tech.io slash discord uh, discord <laughs> discord <laughs> to join up there uh, once you are in discord though uh, and if you are going to join voice channels or things like that which also have video i mean they've got to get their naming convention right there um but then down at the bottom where you see your uh, your name uh, here you've got mute and deafen. So these are controls for actually when you're in a, uh, a meeting uh, or a call or a voice channel, whatever. Uh, but you've got this little cog wheel here, which is your settings. Uh, click on that one, the user settings. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to come down in the user settings all the way down here to app settings and voice and video. Click on this one and then here we've got the input devices. So uh, input device, Ecamm Live virtual mic. Uh, the output device, so that is going to be the speakers or the headphones or whatever it is that you're using. Uh, and by the way, just have to mention this again, it's always better to try and use headphones rather than uh, computers built in speakers or things like that so that you don't get any uh, interference. Uh, that's not quite the right word. <laughs> don't get your audio from your speakers bleeding back into your mic. So uh, still as ever with Discord as with anything else, good practice to get into the habit of using earphones. 
Uh, you can control the volume there, control your input volume. I haven't adjusted anything in here actually with the input volume just because I'm doing that all obviously on the Ecamm side of things. Uh, you can do a mic check here. This again is for the Ecamm Live virtual mic. Uh, and just to recap, what that does is it not only brings your microphone through Ecamm into, uh, into Discord, but also any sound effects or background music or anything like that that you've got would also then come through too. Then we're going to scroll down here. And from here, you can see that we've got the uh, the camera setting. Uh, and all we do here is we set Ecamm Live Virtual Camera uh, from the uh, the drop down list there. Uh, and that's it. That's it. Your camera is then going to be uh, coming in, or rather, your Ecamm Live is going to be coming into Discord. And uh, one thing about this, though, is occasionally Discord will uh, have a software update or something like that. And it's almost as if it kind of breaks that little bit of code and you have to re enter it again. There is a little shortcut to this or a little trick rather than having to think, now, where did I uh, leave that bit of code? Let me go back and find the code snippet. If you are uh, not really a heavy terminal user and you've literally only just used it to do this particular thing with, if you come back over to the terminal and I've just reopened the terminal window, with your uh, cursor here, if you just press the up arrow key, just like that, it will actually just put in the very last snippet of code that you entered. And so you will actually have the code already there. So you don't need to go and actually find and hunt for it again. Uh, you can just literally press the up arrow and it will uh, bring that in. Uh, thanks to Doc Rock for reminding me about that. <laughs> it's one of those bits of knowledge that I'd completely forgotten. <laughs> and then he just said, hit the up arrow, <laughs> you're done. So uh, thanks for the, uh, the the reminder on that. Uh, but I hope that helps you as well, because it means that if you're, like I say, if you're not using terminal for anything else, as most people I guess are not, um, then you will always just have that little bit of code to hand, just press the up arrow and then press return and you are good to go again. Uh, now that is just one small little thing about uh, Discord. There is uh, still a, a great platform for communities. I'll just say it again, if you haven't already, then uh, head over to take1tech.io slash Discord to join my server. Uh, but there is a lot uh, a lot of other great stuff to learn all about with, uh, with Discord. Uh, and so over in the playlist on the right, you'll find a couple of my videos, but more importantly, some more videos from Keely at Discord Creators. So go and check those out.